Hey, what's up guys? We're playing some more Pal World. Today we are taking down the Blazamut Rio, the new level 55 raid boss. But first we gotta get a warm-up. There is one of these Pal Tamers. I've actually never seen one of these before in the wild. I think they're new. Now, that took like half a second, so it wasn't much of a warm-up. So, we're gonna have a real warm-up by beating Bella Noir Libero. I'm still looking for the multi-missile guided thing, but we will find that today on my life, on my mama. We're finding that, but let's just go ahead and get a warm-up in real quick with this second version of Bella Noir. What's really good against it is Flygons, because they're dragons. Really good, so let's get a bunch of Flygons going on. Last video, we did make the upgraded versions of like the Gatling gun and stuff, which will be cool, and... Today, we're going to be eating one of these cheeseburgers. I don't know why I haven't been using food this entire game, but when you eat one of those cheeseburgers, it increases your attack. And obviously, right now, that's really what I'm relying on is my own attack. So, we ate a cheeseburger. We've got our legendary rocket launcher. We've got all the flag guns in the world. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. What you can also do is place a food box with omelets inside that'll increase the damage of your pals by 10 percent once again the cheeseburger increases your attack another thing to increase your damage output that i've seen online is using the attack pendants now what you're going to want to be using is two of those but the plus two attack pendants those are the ones that you could commonly find in the caves and dungeons of like the ice area the cold area at least that's what I've heard, right? So, once again, cheeseburger, omelets if you really want, attack pendants. You could even reset your stats with that juice thing and stick all of your stats into attack instead of, like, you know, you probably have it all stuffed in HP or weight or something. But, yeah, those are some of the things that you can do, of course, using good counters versus the bosses. So, in this case, using the Flygons, or Flygons, bro, why did I just say Flygons? Yeah, you know what I mean. The Jet Ragons, using those against this is most optimal. Now, this fight clearly isn't super hard. It's almost dead, and I'm not even two minutes in. But that is because of all of these things that I've, you know, I figured out over time. My first couple raids were a little rough. <laughs> you know, I'll admit, they were a little rough. I think we're getting better at the game, guys. I'll say it. it, it maybe it's a bold claim. I think we're becoming better at the game. Still not perfect. Still not perfect. Really, the thing that I need to get much better at is breeding pals, like, optimally. And, you know, getting a team together. Alright, Bella Noir, this is the difference between this one and the last one. Is this one, I think... Did the last one do this? I don't know. But this one changes forms into... Is this electric? What is this? Ice? Electric? Ice? I think it's ice. Maybe? I don't know. What did you change into? I don't know, but either way, I'm beating its cheeks. We still got seven minutes to take off, what, 100,000? Easy, dude. No problem. And then, uh, after this, there's the Bella Noir Libero Ultra. Once you beat this, you get a slab, an ultra slab, or an ultra hard version of this. I think this one has 450,000. I think the ultra has 900,000. Yeah, I think it turned to ice, so let's go ahead and put as many fire pals out as possible. Even though they basically got instantly wrecked. I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to bring out fire things because it turned into ice. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this one up. We beat the first one. We're about to beat the second one. Next is the third one, but we're not going to do the third one in this video because that one's hard. I think that one might, might be harder than the standard Blazamut Ryu. So we're going to do... This one, the, the Ryu, then maybe we'll come back to the Libero Ultra, and then we'll do the Blasma Ryu Ultimate, which I think that one might be the hardest raid in the game so far. So, do I have hopes of it? No, but did we beat this one? Yes. Here we go. All right, let's gather all of the things that we picked up. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Here we go. All right, look. Bellinor Libero Ultra Slab. Let's see, what else do we got? All right, legendary slab, the one and only. Like I said, ooh, power fruit. Well, this is neat. Increases attack power of a pal. Cool. All right. All right, guys. I wasn't recording. I was in the wall. I was watching Moist Critical. 
right? Chilling, grinding, and look, well, looky, looky. Oh, okay, I say that, and it takes like 20 seconds to open this thing up, but spoiler, guess what I get out of here? You'll see in about a second. Finally, the quad missile launcher schematic. I was looking for this thing for hours. I've done this, I've raided the oil rig at least like 15 times. Now that we got it, let's go ahead and build it. Look at this multi guided missile launcher. Yeah. Takes quite a bit of resources, but luckily, like I said last video, I don't have much time to play nowadays, but I've got much time to AFK, so resources aren't really a problem. It's mostly about finding the things that's a problem, but but AFKing is not a problem. So, while our Artemises or whatever work on that, I mean, I'm forgetting names of things, bro. I haven't played this game. Let's go ahead and make a cheeseburger. We will need one of these to fight the Blaza Ryu. Let's go ahead and cook it up. Grab the multi-guided missile launcher. And I don't... Dude, I told you guys, once I get this missile launcher, there's nothing else that I need. This was the last piece of the puzzle. I've got my attack pendant, which I technically need a second, but we're not going to talk about it because for some reason, they won't give it to me. We got the attack pendant. We got the cheeseburger. We have the proper pals. We have the multi guided missile launcher. I have the missiles for it. I mean, shoot, I even got the good armor. I've got the helmet. The only thing I could need is maybe the shield, but whatever, you know. All right, first attempt. Well, not really first attempt, uh, like millionth attempt, but first attempt, sec technically second attempt on camera. All right, let's go ahead and put out as many of these frogs and the azure robes. You guys might be saying, why aren't you putting the, the Gyarados out? Put Gyarados out. Man, that thing is so big, I can't even see the boss. Those things make me mad because they're great, but I can't see. Half of my missiles hit the dead bodies and doesn't even hit the boss. So, we're going to use the smaller boats. Let's go ahead. Boats. Frogs. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. This is the first time using the multi, multi-guided... multi They really should have shortened this. We should have made this into an acronym or something. What is it? The MGM... MG... MG... What? MGML. Let's call it the... Uh, you know, I'm just going to call it the MLG. I'm going to be honest. Uh, but yeah, dude, this MLG is nasty, bro. Look at it. It is... How much is it doing? Like 5,000 per missile? Each reload is four of them? Not to mention, it actually reloads faster than the, the legendary rocket launcher. All right. It looks like all my frogs are dead. So we're going to have to go ahead and spawn in some more pals. Now, quick tip. If you guys have never... Uh, like done these raids if this is for some reason the first time you've ever watched this here's the problem the second there is no pals on the battlefield oh, of course there's a raid bro the second there is no more pals on the battlefield for some reason the raid bosses instantly love to start hitting the pal box and guess what happens if he breaks your pal box the raid ends so it's pretty crucial to always have some pals on the field not even if they're doing damage or if they're strong. Really, it's about keeping the stupid boss from attacking that pal box. Trust me, I have failed at least 5 to 10 raids already because they've just destroyed my pal box. It's not that I died or I ran out of time. It's just that, you know. So anyway, just make sure to keep pals open even if they suck. Now, this is what I was talking about. The gear doses blocking my path, man. Like, right now, it's alright. But these things can get a little messy. But... Um, when you take them out of the pal box, at least the bodies go away, so no problem. But, you know, it's, it's a little hard sometimes to find the pal box. Let's go ahead. Replace once again. Just try to find things to put. Try to do this as quick as possible. And I, technically, I'm even there wasting time. I probably, you know, that took me like 10 seconds to do. That is basically a clip of the launcher. So I missed out on 20k damage right there. Because I, I kind of took my time i was a little slow there now i'm also gonna put it out there if you guys are you know very much keen on watching the gameplay and you're kind of ignoring my voice if you're really watching the gameplay you will notice that i'm actually not doing that well uh this isn't i'm yeah i'm gonna go ahead and say it i'm not doing that well i'm almost two and a half minutes in uh it, it's a little over a quarter dead but i feel like i'm not playing well uh, my pals are dying too quickly. I feel I've missed a lot of shots. See, even here I'm fumbling. Uh, ah, screw it. Uh, Jet Ragons, come in. Try to do something. I'm fumbling a little bit. But you know what? We're just gonna keep the fight going. Guess never say never. 
you know, great words of JB. Let's just keep it going. If, if we fail, we fail. It is what it is. But I'm going to try my best. Yeah. Miss, uh, dude, this MLG is pretty cool, though. I do gotta say, I still don't 100% know if its DPS is actually better. It feels like it's better. It feels like it, because I think the legendary rocket launcher will do 10k damage. And this one should do a minimum of like 15, so this one does more and it reloads faster, so you can only assume that this thing is better. But, you know, if someone wants to get up in them comments and honestly, bro, I'm open for advice or critique or strat, like put put something useful in the comments that you know. If, if there's something to make this fight easier, let me know, maybe I'll redo it or Honestly, I'm going to need that advice for the ultra battle because we will get an ultra slab after this. And, dude, I'm having enough trouble with this one. And this one's the main one. You guys know for a fact I'm going to have some trouble with that one. So, if you've got any other advice aside from getting an attack pendant, I guess the middle guy, I, did got, I got the launcher, eating a cheeseburger, giving omelets to my pals. I guess I could, you know, get better pals, but if there's any other thing that I missed, if there's some, like, super easy thing to make this battle so much easier. Oh, also, the potion to increase my attack. I could do that, too. If there's anything else you guys can think of, maybe even an easier area to fight this. Maybe a way to keep them away from my pal box. Whatever you got, I would love to know. For now, though, let's go ahead and keep fighting. My pals are being massacred. I don't even know if by the end of this I'll have pals left. Here we go. A little bit of rocket launcher gameplay. Back to the OG weapon. Alright, let's... Ooh, see right there. Some people just died in front of me. I see dead people. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go. Alright. Also, I can't see this thing half the time. Although this... Okay, that's not fair, dude. What? What is that champion in League that ults like that? Or maybe they got reworked. It used to be one of my favorite champs in League. It's the thing from the Void, the female thing. Oh, Rek'Sai. Yeah, this Blaza's kind of like Rek'Sai. You know, shout out Rek'Sai. I, I, man, that was a... I really loved playing jungle there for a minute with that champ. Anyway, off topic. Let's keep trying to fight this thing. We're doing all right. Like, maybe. We're at four minutes and we've got it down to this. Now, here's the deal, though. Here's the part where we should be a little scared. This thing has a second form. So, depending on how big that second form is, we could get screwed. Oh, we only got four minutes. That's not a lot of time. I almost wish, like, once we hit the second form, they added, like, two minutes to my clock. But, and again, I, I could be outputting a little bit more damage here, but half my missiles are getting... I'm hitting them. I'm hitting my own pals with my missiles. It's not doing damage. And I really have to be careful to keep pals out, because again, if that that pal box... Oh, alright, there we go, second form. That pal box is important, man. You can't let that thing break. Also, I just got stunned. I'm terrible. Maybe I should have been farther away. Okay, maybe one of the last times we redo our pals. Uh, at least, hopefully. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm choking. I'm choking. I'm just something. I'm choking. I'm also dying. Where am I? Hello? How did I get... I don't know how I got so high up in the air. Also, this floating time is taken away from my DPS. Guys, I'm sorry. Look, honestly, I wish I could put on an absolutely nasty showing here. As you can see. I say that right as I miss. This is going to be a close one. I've got two... two oh, it's actually technically three minutes to do 180,000 more damage. Uh, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be even closer if I die right here. Not the best fight of my life, but I will say this. This is the first fight, kind of, right? Kind of the first fight. We have to get new pals in. I, if I beat it, I will fight it again. And maybe in a more professional and clean manner. Again, guys, this... I, a lot of, I think... I should also put this out there, right? These videos, my gameplay here... It is a playthrough. It's not a tutorial. Can you do this better? Yes. But like, that's not. That's not. What I'm. You know, I'm not saying a tutorial. This is gameplay, and I hope you guys can appreciate it for what it is. We will grow naturally. We'll become better at this game slowly. But 
First, let's just try just try to take it down in any way possible. If I miss if I miss a few missiles, you know it is what it is. But I'm coming back, and I, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do this the right way. But for now, let's just try to beat it up. Try to shoot it in the head as many times as humanly possible. The problem is, yo, tell me if I'm tripping. Why has the damage of my weapons gone down? Like, my missile is only doing 5k compared to 10, and now my multi-missile, instead of doing 4, it's doing 2.5. And, and tell me if I'm tripping in the comments right now. Does the dam does its defense increase as we go? Oh, I have 1,000 HP, and I, I, I might die here, honestly. Uh, well, I don't know why those things wouldn't auto-stack, but screw it. I don't know how I'm not dead. Honestly, I don't know how I'm not dead, but I'm glad I didn't. Well, I don't even know what I was saying. I got so caught up with trying to put those pals in. Okay, we got one minute to do 79,000. Okay. Ugh. Okay, uh, quick math. Mental math. Mental math. I'm doing two, two, two and a half damage. Four missiles. 10k. I'm doing 10k. What is it? So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. So every six seconds, I'm doing 10k. Six seconds. Mathematically, I can do it. Mathematically, I think it checks out. Uh, oh, but it's gonna be close. 25. I need to do 1k damage per second. Can I do it? Why? See, why is it doing less than 2k now? Please. Please. Oh, and don't, don't let me die. I'm also low. Oh, this is... Uh, my butt is clenched. 6k. 10 seconds. Oh, my butt is clenched. You guys don't even know right now. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, you guys don't know how long that took. You guys gotta remember, dude. I've been grinding out the oil rigs for like a week now. Just trying to get this stupid weapon. Alright, I wasn't confident in the beginning. And to be honest, I can't even say I'm confident now. But it's done, right? It's done. Yeah. Was it the greatest showing of all time? No. Was it a showing? Yes. And we did it. We beat it. You guys know what's next. I, I, you know, I don't even want to say the word, but there is that ultra slab. We're going to go ahead and do that too. Okay, we got the big egg. Get our own Blaza. Let's go ahead and put that in there. It's going to take a crispy two hours to get that, but uh, yeah. All right. Hey, everyone. A little while later, let's go ahead and speed run three different meteorites. I've kind of been saving them up, waiting for them to happen across my world. Well, we got three of them. Let's go ahead and run them. We're still looking for what is that thing called? Celine? What I forgot. It's a pretty the moon thing. The 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 pal with the boss. We're still looking for it. Hopefully one of these three meteorites will. And of course, with all of these meteorites, we'll have to make sure to pick up all of the meteor and all the drops that come with it. Because I know that there is like a meteor launcher. And the ammo for that launcher is made out of the meteorites. Now, I don't think it's that good. But of course, I want to make it, right? So, first meteorite done. Let's go ahead and head over to the second. I've basically got one meteorite next to every single base. And I don't know if this is how it was a create. Was it coded to always spawn next to a base? Because I've only gotten them next to my four bases. <clears throat> so, oh, okay. This one just looks like a care package. So, it seems, and tell again, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong here. There seems to be two different types of meteors. There's the supply drops, and then there's the actual meteor meteor. The actual meteors are the ones with the new pals. These boxes don't have new pals. They just have the guards, and they... But, the ones with the chests have the, like, the permanent buff elixirs. So, you know, one has new pals, one has extremely good items. So I don't mind either. Let's go ahead and head over to the last one. So far, these two meteors have kind of sucked. Hello? What, it, what are you doing in my house? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, he's no longer in my house, but he's also not breathing. So that, that's unfortunate. Oh, another chest. Okay, what do we got in this one? more elixir you love to see it okay i'm back it's been another few days let's go ahead and drink some of the elixirs that we got from some of the meteorites that we've been doing slowly now it's time i mentioned 
the meteorite stuff. We're going to go and try to play with that. Also, we've gathered a lot of these level up things, so I should probably use them. Maybe not the ones that level up pals, but definitely the ones that give me technology points. Let's go ahead and use those. And we can kind of take a look. Right, are any of these levels... Okay, let's go take a look at technology and let's see what we can unlock. Really, the ancient technology is what we're going to be looking for here. We could probably unlock most of it. Maybe not everything, but I'm just going to go down the list and unlock everything one by one. And let's see what we're left with. Honestly, most of these items are pretty useless. The ability glasses could be cool, but I'm not really much of a PvPer. The meteorite launcher. Okay, okay. That's the thing that I was talking about earlier. Lockpicking tool 3. We don't have enough, but that's it. That's all for ancient technology. Let's look at normal tech. Is I did look through this once, but of course with new updates, it probably added more things in here. One of the things that I have noticed is they seemed to have added more decorative stuff. Like, look at this outdoor furniture set, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not much of a decorator. Maybe. Hey, hey, shout out. Decorations. Maybe. Soon, we'll, like, build an actual house with, like, decorations. Maybe, maybe. Tell me if you guys want to see something like that. Uh, like I said, not much of a decorator. I mean, and the stuff that is in the game isn't crazy. Cooler box. Why did I not know this even existed? But, <clears throat> hey, we could try something. Maybe we could make something fancy, but... Yeah, <clears throat> that looks like it's about it. Real quick, let's grab the eggs. Brand new pals. Remember, we defeated some of those bosses. The the Blaza Ryu. This is new. Okay, I don't know if that ability is any good. We got the Bella Noir Libero, the second version. Of course, we still have to fight both Ultra Slabs still. Also, I've been cooking up more Anubises because I feel... Well, now that I've got the fourth base, likely I won't need more. But all of my Anubises are gone. So I cooked up a few more just to replenish our stock here. Now, I will need to have them work on my bases to level up a little bit. But we'll get to that slowly but surely. Alright. So yeah, let's see. Let's take a look at all the abilities of the things. Again, I don't I don't know if they're any good. Like, there's the Libero, Siren of the... Of course, it's, it's got Coward trait, which is unfortunate on that one. But hey... We could beat him more. Honestly, the Libero wasn't terrible. The Blasomart Rio still was very hard. I mean, you, if you guys watched it, we finished it in like with like a second to spare. Okay, this, of course, it's clumsy. I don't know why they keep giving me things with not great traits, but we did get a few nice Anubises. So I don't. I definitely don't mind that. I wonder if we should replace any of these. Nah, it probably doesn't need to. But okay. Meteor. I want to make some of this meteor stuff. Now, how do I make it? So, these are meteorite bullets. Okay. Let's make max of those. Yeah, not a whole lot, but... What about the meteorite gun? Oh, what about the ultra shield? Let's go ahead and make that ultra shield. We've been waiting to make this ultra shield oh also i just realized i think i can only make the meteorite gun here at this station so why don't i get rid of the bullets meteorite oh okay hold on hold on i gotta pick up the meteorite because it, it, it includes meteorite in the recipe yeah, let's make that dude we can make the ultra shield now how sick is that man we've kind of i'm not making this as a big a deal as it should but we've been grinding for that shield for a minute and a half all right, yeah, kind of just snuck that in there. I was like, oh, let's make, let's make the Ultra Shield. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, Meteorite Gun, Ultra Shield, coming. Or is it called the Ultra Shield? Whatever, the best gold Legendary Shield. But both of those are going to take probably a minute. I got to sneeze, bro. <laughs> Bless me. Thank you. Um, Those are going to take a minute. The other thing that I wanted to do today, maybe just kind of do it on the side, is... Let me show you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. More and more, I've been finding myself saying, Hey guys, I'm back a few days later. Just did some grinding off camera. And you guys might not know what grind... Well, like, what does that consist of? David, what do you do when you're not recording? So I'll show you. Um, let's just go through today while we're making this stuff. We'll go through all... You know, after we make it, we'll just go through all of my bases. And we'll just do a little, you know, gather session. So here, we're going to go ahead and start out with Palladium. I found myself 
very low on rock. So, for one night, I AFK'd uh, just mining rock. Once I got, or stone, whatever. Once I got enough of that, I built a bunch of these crushers all across this base with Hello Water pals. And I made a whole bunch of palladium. So that was the first thing. But, oh, I, oh, I thought that was done. It hasn't even started, bro. Hey, but the Ultra Shield, here we go. 15, 20, compared to, oh, that's like over 30, what, is that 33% better? I don't know percentages, bro. I got an A in st statistics, but we're not going to talk about that. Or, yeah, I don't know. I've done up to Calc 2, so I don't know. Whatever that means, right? That's a pretty simple percentage. Right, but let's, you know, let's make this mirror. Let me grab a sip of water here, bro. If you're watching this video and you haven't drank water for at least an hour, drink some water. Shout out water. All right. Meteorite launcher. Here we go. Now, its stats don't look great. 2,000? Yeah, it's just a rocket launcher that shoots a meteor, but it does not a whole lot of damage. It's only 2,000? Is there like a legendary version of it or something? Because this... Is it that... Ugh. Is this supposed to be like... In, like, the actual game, are you supposed to get this before the rocket launcher? Because that would make a lot of sense. Oh, and hey, look, we unlocked the Ryu saddle. I was wondering what that was, and there's still one unlocked item there. Maybe that's from one of the pals, but... Yeah. Shroomer knocked. We still have to get a Shroomer knocked? Oh, well, we can find that at night, right? And this is what I'm looking for, the Selene. It's got to be at one of the meteorite sites. Okay. But we got the Ultra Shield, we got the Meteorite Launcher, which we're never going to use, but hey, it's cool to have. Let's go ahead and cook up some more charcoal, because I need charcoal to make into... I'm trying to think... Ooh, there's one thing that uses a lot of charcoal. Well, we need charcoal to also make the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber is used to make some things, but I know you need charcoal for the refined metal ingots or whatever. And you need that to make ammo for a lot of things. I don't know. There's honestly, I'm just trying to get as much stuff as everything. Let's. We can go ahead and break these crushers over here, though, because um, they're just taking up space. And you know, once I farmed, like, I think I got like at least ten thousand or fifteen thousand of the palladium there. I won't need some for another minute and a half. Likely, like tomorrow, I'll have to uh, do another stone AFK sesh. And get some more palladium, but we're good for now. Let's go ahead and get rid of the meteor launcher again. We're not going to use it. I the, this quad missile launcher is the nastiest thing ever created. Uh, ancient sift cores. Let's see what else do we got in this box. We really should be using some of these big flowers soon too, to make some of these better potions. But they also drop from meteors, so whatever. And I think we need like six of them. So you know, like all these flowers could probably only make me like two potions at right now. But we'll have to give that a whirl in a minute. We also need to start using the, the dog coin. I need to get more dog coin because I know you can buy some pretty cool stuff from the merchant. All right, double check on the Anubises. Looks like we're solid for now. What else we got? All right. I think it's time to go to the other bases and just do a classic David and Friends grinding session here. Another meteorite. <laughs> Say less. Where is it? We'll do it. We'll do it while we uh grind, and hopefully we get the new Celine. Oh my God! Am I nasty? All right, let's put him away. Let's go ahead and put the ring on so I don't kill it. The only thing that could happen is the guards could kill it. So let me try and get rid of the guards. Oh, I'm angry. I want to be more angry. Like I want to, I want to express how angry I am. Hey, Shroomer Knock. Okay, I'm a little less angry now. I'm a, only a little less angry because we're still getting something new. Oh, dude, that's like the set, like the okay, at least tenth meteorite that I've seen, and I see it for the first time and I lose it. Okay, you know what? Lesson learned. Next time, we be more careful. Also. I am not a pickaxe user. I'd rather just shoot the meteorite. 
it's just easier. I don't know. I do have my attack turned up a little bit, so of course it's a little easier for me to shoot it than... But I'm also a solo player, so, you know, you guys are gonna have to give me a little leeway here. Alright, Meteor, hard fail. Like, that was... That, that made my heart, heart hurt a little bit, but it's okay. We will find it again. Not like we're going anywhere. At least I don't think so. Let's go ahead and teleport back to the base and get back to the grinding. Oh, and also, this, this is another new thing I kind of did off camera. Last time you guys seen this base, it was a raid base. Well, I rebuilt it into a grinding base because I thought, hey, I'm not going to be able to play these next five days. I might as well just turn it into a grind base again so I can grind out materials until I'm ready for the next boss. And I even made a chest at home with all of the materials to build a base so I can just kind of break it all down put it in a chest and when I'm done with the raid I can build it all back up super quickly which is super nice all right, so you can see that most of the farms there were built let's go ahead uh, go to the ore base so the base that you just saw that is the general base that I specialize towards wood stone when needed this base is mostly an ore base but because I told you guys that I was farming some charcoal this base has been just momentarily been turned into a wood base. That's why you see all the... Um, uh, I, see, I forgot their names, man. The, the, the sword people, along with the big fat pandas. These guys are all great at cutting wood. So, I've got these homies working on some wood so I can make some more charcoal. And then, I also have made modifications to the third... The third like satellite base, which is the one that you guys know as the oil base. And we'll kind of get to that when we get to that. Okay, 42,000 wood. Okay, no ingots. So, again, I have no miners here. Uh, yeah, shout out Drake. I got no miners. But let's bring this stuff back to the base. Actually, no, no. Sh not shout out Drake. How do I... Can I unshout... Okay, unshout out Drake. Um... Yeah, so well, let's drop this stuff off, and then we'll go over to the oil base. So here's the thing, right? With the oil base, I realize that I'm utilizing or I'm not utilizing like time and efficiency, right? So here's the deal. I was having a bunch of ore zerks provide electricity to the pumps, but essentially nothing else. I was having the rest of the people just farm vegetables which is cool, right? But why aren't I just dropping a few Anubises and Blazas and get some resources pr produced? So that's the main thing. Hello? Um, also, I know I haven't been really talking about what I'm doing because I'm just kind of doing things in a pretty brain-dead fashion, but um, I forgot. I, I left all of the materials in the chests here. I, I just came back because I want to grab them. I, I don't know why I left them here. They really should be at my main base where I need them for crafting. So I just quickly came back here um, to grab them. And then we'll head over to the oil base. But this is rough. Uh, I love kind of the trick where you can like ride, get on a pal to like scoot you forward when you're encumbered. But th especially the jet Ragon can get a little rough when you're doing that. Because it instantly wants to make you touch like the nearest chest or something water okay was it was that a raid is there a raid coming at me that is a terrible idea this is my main base you do not want to raid my main base bro also we're gonna i'll have to reorganize those chests off camera because those are not very clean all right oh come on man i hate it when he like insta emotes right when i jump on him all right, 360. I did not do a 360. I lied. Also failed because I had the ring on. Big sad. It's all right, though. My homies will take care of it. Also, I love these raids because it just gives me a bunch of free resources for no reason. Look at all this. Look at all these juicy resources. Some assault rifle ammo for, like, only enough for half a clip. But, hey, we get trading manuals, some flame organs, and a little gold to spend, you know? Can't complain about that. All right, uh, let's head back to the base, drop off this stuff, and we'll just do a a quick gathering of the oil base, and I think we'll be pretty much set here. 
Oh, yeah, I need to reorganize these chests. They're getting hella full. And look how, look how, like, disorganized and messy this is. It's crazy. Why do, why do I, I don't need that mushroom. Okay. Back to the old boys. Okay, back to what we were saying. Again, I, I kind of got sidetracked there, just kind of spewing things. I added a couple of wood and stone farms. I also added a, a ranch. So sometimes if I just, like, need pal fluid or something, um, I can have that. But, yeah, so now I'm getting some wood, stone... Um, also oil from this base. I feel like I'm really getting efficient with my four bases, you know? All four bases have good pals. They're all producing something for me. Which is making it very nice. I mean, you know, very nice. Maybe I'll just, yeah, I'll just leave this wood here. Too heavy. But yeah. Uh, I recommend this if you guys haven't, but just make four bases and just make sure all of them are producing something. You're essentially just leaving resources on the table if you have a base and you don't have things in it. It's just you're, you're, you're wasting your time when you're playing. You're wasting resources, so make sure they're full. Again, I only recently got great at it. Honestly, I, I left this base with just the oil for so long for absolutely no reason i should have had a couple of other things here for other pals to work on because again you have 50 well okay it depends on your base level but i have 15 pals per base i should be utilizing all 15 slots per base for a total of 60 pals doing something once that's what you should be doing um if you're really trying to like you know min max the game which that's kind of my goal every time i play a game all right let's put this stuff in but yeah that was just like a very quick tiny you know gather sesh we go to war base gather the wood we gather everything here uh we go to the oil base gather everything there and then like the fourth satellite base where we usually do our raids gather everything there it honestly doesn't take that long once you have everything set up you know you grab it you have to do a little penguin waddle missiles yeah you have to do a little waddle around being encumbered but you get hella stuff Homeward Thundercloud. I don't know. Rock picking tool too. I don't really need any of those to be honest though. Yeah, I don't really need them. I do need more circuit boards. Honestly, that's been my uh, current bottleneck. I want to make more missiles, but I need circuit boards for all of the missiles, which is not easy. I'll have to find a way to more efficiently gather the pure... Is it called pure crystal? Right, a few more Anubis eggs. I should maybe stop breeding Anubises. I feel like now I have... I'm going to make too many. I mean, hold on. I could always combine them. Maybe I will do that. I'll, I'll, I'll sub The really good Anubises that I have... Ooh, two extra eggs. Maybe I'll just start... Com condens not combining. Condensing. Maybe I'll do that. But guys, I think I'm going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed all the new items. A little grinding session. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you next video.